have to introduce you. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> Please like <that>. do. <laughs> it's Michelle, and um, for those of you who don't know, she does crab, and she's a barista. Do you call yourself a barista? Uh, no, not really. Oh, not really. I just okay. Like to make coffee. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she works in a cafe, and she teaches dance. Uh, she has a very hard hardcore and she can tell you all about it. <clears throat> tell us, how long have you been dancing? Uh, well, I actually never really count, but uh, I started when I was 4 years old. Then I stopped when I was 12. I started street dancing, maybe about 10, 8 oh, years old. Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow, what is this? Okay, my phone died, let's try to do it again. Okay, so how long? Okay, she's been dancing, she's... She oh <laughs> she <laughs> she's been dancing she she's <laughs> oh my god the thumbstand is very real <laughs> nah, she's been dancing since she was four years old yeah okay, I started okay. with ballet first but every time people say ballet I'm like <laughs> uh, by during my time right if you start dancing it must be ballet or not hip hop so just in case uh, I'm quite old already so yeah after ballet then what do you do I didn't do anything, I was not allowed to dance actually. And then so I only started when I can finish my O levels and work and earn my own dance class fee. Yeah, so I started dancing back again in JC, but um, I only realized about street dancing when I was like 24. So it was like 10 years ago. So do you start with hip hop first? And I started with whacking actually. Yeah, whacking was my first freestyle. Oh my gosh! <laughs> This yeah. is something new. No, actually, I know it, yeah, but I have to act shocked. I have to like, be shocked and yeah, I'm sure you got like, you know, confidence. Oh, but I, I guess like people who don't know Mitch too well won't know because always see her in the crime scene yes, now, right? Yes, my favourite love. I wouldn't say you have a day job, you, you like balance both. Yeah, I don't really have a day job because I freelance. Okay, so tell us what do you do? No, I, 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 but she has a... Uh, it's not full time job, right? When you see your friends, you say hi! <laughs> but you consider you have a... Is, is your cafe job considered a full time? No, of course not. It's a part time. Yep. But it's still a... a, a so-called proper, what people will say, like proper job. It's not like purely dancing. So oh, okay. tell us all about it, like how you manage and stuff. Uh, for me, a bit different, uh, I guess, because uh, as a dancer, our our, our life very right, unstable. Income is very right, unstable too, because I don't, uh, I'm not attached to a studio or a company. Yeah, so um, barrister don't give me a lot of money, but it's enough for me to at least survive in Singapore. So it gives me a bit more stability in a way. So I know that at least if I have zero projects for that month, I have a bit from barristering. Yeah, and I choose Barrister because I really like to make coffee. I don't really like to drink it, but I like to make it. Yeah, and to me, coffee art is like freestyle. Yeah, free pour. You is have like to freestyle. practice. <laughs> yeah, you have to practice. And I, at max, can drink two cups a day or three cups. Oh my god, serious? Yeah, I mean at max. Do you have times where you feel sleepy? Then how do you? <laughs> Actually, the funny thing is, I feel sleepy when I am outside. So once I reach home, right, once I finish my stuff, I think I am so tired to the extent that I just need to like just like stone. <laughs> so you go home and stone? <laughs> yeah, kind of. I kind of just need to like like relax. How, how many brain. hours? <laughs> oh, it really depends. Last time, uh, long. Uh, last time longer, I think. Yeah. So I think if like... I teach, I teach a lot of hours. I really need to just like. I just sit down and I really just stare, stare at a blank space. Yeah, because if not, yeah. you keep using your brain, it's very tiring. Right? And that's also one of the reasons why I started doing coffee. Because it gives me a good distraction away from dance. Yeah. I never hear like people say that like their work is a distraction from dance. <laughs> like it's because of work that they want to dance. But because my main job is a dancer. Ah, you see! But still got a, got a job, right? <laughs> yeah. My typical schedule, like yeah, typical. Uh, not today <laughs> or like this week. I don't know. No, but actually, because I just started my new job, so that's why. But so it's going to be your typical schedule. Yeah. <laughs> typically, <laughs> like um, for the last four years, I almost don't have a rest day. 
I will either. Oh, wait, wait, but she goes on holiday. <laughs> Isn't that a rest day? Uh, your, you, yes, at all. Your, only, but your only rest days are like your holidays. If I don't dance, yeah. But usually I only go to places where I will battle or when I will learn something. Mm. So it's still dancing mm. based. Yeah, mm. so maybe even out of that, that, like maybe I go for a battle, right? It's only like maybe five days or six days that it's just going around the city. Yeah, so the rest of the days are still for dancing. dancing. So your, so your holidays are mainly dance based right? Like you will go there because of dance and not because Not, of not because of You want uh, a vacation want to go, Yeah, yeah. vacation and It's always because of dance Then I made it a point to go somewhere near uh, Yeah, because I've been like I mean like I said, I'm not getting young already And I still haven't seen the world yet Like I used to go <laughs> Korea so much right But I don't think I visited Korea I only went to Hongdae <laughs> Oh you mean you went, went to Hongdae a lot? <laughs> No, it's not a lot. It's every day. <laughs> because but Hongdae is a freaking nice place also. But like. it's not Korea. You know, like I don't see Kwangju, that's, that's true, I don't that's see true, Jeju that's true. Island. You haven't you been know? to Jeju? Never. You should go because I love it. I know, it's that's why so I said good. I haven't been to Korea. You know, I've been to only Hongdae. Oh, like Ufam Studio maybe, you know. <laughs> like, that, that is how sad my life is. <laughs> No, I, I think I think there's there's good and bad. There's uh the good thing is that you get to experience like dance outside yeah, yeah, yeah. of Singapore, which yeah. is like very important. It helps you, it motivates you when you are back home, no? Uh, it gives me a lot of inspiration. Mm. Basically, if I'm not dancing, I would um what I do is I give all my free time to the manager of the cafe, so she will schedule it according to my free time if. She doesn't give me a schedule and I don't have a dance, then that's my free day. So how flexible is your boss? Uh, like is there a minimum like number of hours you have to commit to your job? The previous one that I was working for four years, he was very flexible. Yeah, like I don't have a minimum hour that I have. I mean okay, minimum is um, six hour per shift. Okay, yeah. that's quite Typical, I guess. The amount of time it really depended on me, but that was also because I started working long enough and he allowed my character and yeah. my schedule. Yeah. And there's trust involved, like this. I guess. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Cause right, how how likely is it for someone new to like allow you to just be flexible, like yeah, but without usually, any boundary? Yeah, yeah. But usually, I would give in all my free time. Yeah. So like I said, if they don't schedule me, then that's my free day. Yeah, if they schedule me every day that I'm free right then I'll just be check face like So how often do you practice then? Uh I it depends if I have a battle that I am aiming for. I would try to practice almost every day. Yeah. But uh, if like after a battle I would relax a bit more la, like maybe twice a week or three times a week. Yeah. Or maybe sometimes give myself a little bit of rest like Two weeks don't dance at all. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think I think sometimes you just need to like get away from it and to try to regenerate like ideas and stuff. Cause sometimes the brain needs a break and then you can come back with more stuff. Actually, yeah, I just tired. I muscle eggs. At the table value, yo. <laughs> like, really, just the, the you muscle eggs and then you people. rest two weeks. That's a lot. Yeah, then my muscle can recover, ma. Two weeks, ma. Two weeks. <laughs> you know, it takes like three days to recover, right? Then, then you start getting a muscle pain again. Oh, that's true. You know, and yeah. that means that means you go very hard. That's why you every time you practice, you have muscle aches. Actually, almost every day my muscle aches. Like my neck very stiff, or my like my arms also like like especially like around here because I'm swing a lot. Oh. Yeah, even like core everywhere. So it depends on what I'm training that, that particular day. So if I'm training towards battle, right, I would really try to train like uh, things that are weak in like for example my knees are weak and my quads are weak so I will train squats so, mm. so that I can jump and yeah. like have that power when I jump yeah and even so right I'm battling against people who are like bigger size than me and younger than me you know taller you know like so always the, the strength game is very very real in my life do you feel it, this is just uh, because like you're doing crumb do you feel like People from other genres could like get away with it just cause like Crumb uses a lot of energy compared to like other genres. 
Actually, I honestly think it depends on which genre you are talking about. Because if you talk about contemporary, they oh, use a so totally true, different yeah. set of muscles. Yeah, correct, so correct. their muscle pain is totally different from mine. Yeah, and I don't think just because they are more sustaining in their power, they, they are not using as much power as I am. Yeah, so like maybe B boys they use a lot of power too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but maybe their their burst is not as 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 frequent as ours because we have more explosion. Yeah, but if they're gonna do like hand hops and like wind and yeah, stuff like that, right. thousand, then they definitely need to do <laughs> their conditioning and stuff yeah, too. Yeah, true, true, yeah, true, true. Yeah, so it really depends on like I think which genre. Not say which genre lah, but I think it's a different set of muscle. Yeah. What yeah. is your greatest challenge you face? Yeah. You really get um, more tired easily mm-hmm. as the years goes by. Yeah. I used to feel like I can do like a hundred things in a day when I was younger and now like I do one cafe job I shack max already. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, I guess stamina it's something very, very real. It's not a challenge, it's just like really real. Yeah. But other than that managing both of it pretty okay for me. Is there anything you like about having your your type of lifestyle now? Oh, flexible in timing. Uh, really very flexible. It's really up to you to manage your time. Yeah, so that is something that I really enjoy. I, I'm a bit scared to go full time into any corporate world because I can't imagine like waking up waking up nine o'clock every day. But you've done it before, right? I have. I have done it for two years, but. Um, so what made you change? Like what triggered you to? Oh, I had a lot of opportunities to teach dance while I was I was um, like working, doing, yeah, fashion designer, and um, it was between um, I was actually doing both teaching dance and having a full time job too at the time. But I chose to stop my full time job because I spoke to my boss and I asked him whether um, how is my career development like, and he said, oh, I've learned everything that he can teach me. Oh, that's the worst thing is like, oh hey, you yeah. can go already, I don't have anything to teach you anymore. Yeah, so he said, oh, so from now on it's just going to be like that. So if I continue to stay in the company, just, it's just going to be like that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because it, before that, they actually said, oh, they're going to send me to New York for research and study. Because I was doing development. And then what happened? It didn't happen. So they, they, they lied to you? Kind of, in a way. Yeah. Did, did they lie to you to get you in the job though? Not really, because actually, I think what happened was, uh, I was supposed to be junior designer. So I had a senior designer. They hired but sacked. Yeah, so they fired her, and then in the end, they were supposed to engage two more people, but they didn't. So I was the only designer doing everything. Yeah, so I learned from scratch, and because I was the only one, I really had to learn very fast. So I really learned everything very fast within that two years. And they say, oh, there was, uh, and then after they say, okay, they were sent me to New York to to do more development because our clients were all New York based, were American based, are most of them. But um. In it didn't end, happen. It didn't happen. So if that happened, do you think that you will have chosen that route? I will continue both until I cannot. Yeah, but I think at a point of time because um, I think any designing job right, it really is very taxing on timing. Yeah, so uh, my health went down very crazy. Like yeah. what? What were the hours like? I would stay in the office till like three, four a.m. in the morning, and then you you sleep in the office lah. No la. Sleep office, yeah. Every day sleep in office. Oh my gosh, but you have to wake up earlier the next day, no? Yeah, so sometimes I have to teach dance, right? I will go out to teach dance and then I will come back to the office to do work and then I'll go back home. Yeah, oh so that, that was what happened because, like, it's very clear because I'm the only designer. Presentations, everything is done by me. Oh my god. Yeah. But the things you do to, like, sustain being able to dance is, like, crazy. Back then I was really young, lah. So, like, like I say, you know, like, when I was much younger, I could do a lot more things. And I really felt like I was like, you know, like, yes, I can do this. And at that point of time, um, it was really just because I wanted to dance. Yeah, and but I mean, when I first started teaching, right, it was never the, it was never came across my mind that I, I can be a dancer. You know, like actually, I never think I can be a dancer. I just wanted to dance. To give me any opportunity, I would dance. So, do you have goals currently in dance now? Yeah, like, you, like you imagine if there are no obstacles, like what do you want to achieve? No and obstacles as in like nothing stopping you. Like really nothing stopping you. Then what will you do? <sighs> what uh, will you go and go and achieve? Like money is not a problem, time is not a problem, no, nothing is a problem basically. Skill is a problem? <laughs> no 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 like like skill is also not a problem, then what will you do? Uh 
I would really love to join different types of battles and also to create uh, create stuff with different people. Yeah, like have different collaborations. If really I can, like really skill is not a problem and like connecting with people is not a problem. I really want to try and stretch my limit to see how far I can go. Connecting with people is not a problem. I don't think you have problems connecting with people. <laughs> I think I got a lot. I don't even say I got resting bitch face. But you have a lot of friends, no? <laughs> Is only, that my assumption? I feel like me. You see, every time I Instagram story, only I need to be. Well, it's not only like space and I need because she can accept me. <laughs> She's fine, man. Like, <laughs> she, she will ask you a lot of questions and then make you think and then like. Uh, I'll make you think, man. I just And then doubt, like, uh, am I? Oh, uh, busy. I will make you doubt, man. But I don't know how to ask questions now because. I'm really curious to know myself. <laughs> Which is a lot of questions by the way, like sometimes I just like uh but it, it's good because sometimes like she she asks questions and then uh you will learn about yourself. <laughs> so if you want to learn about yourself, well, come to Michelle. I, 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 I ask myself a lot of questions really. so How I, long do you think you can sustain this lifestyle? How long? How long can you honestly <laughs> I doubt myself every day? <laughs> Do you, did you doubt yourself when you were younger? Uh, when I was younger, maybe when I started doing this. Huh? Yeah, when you started doing this, you'd be like, actually, I can do this forever. I, I feel very happy about Although, it. Although, I, I am not, I'm not so positive about myself. Like, as in, like, I'm not so optimistic. I wouldn't say positive in the right way, but I, I tend to see the, the bad side faster than I see the good side. Yeah, so I really only do it because I really love doing it. Yeah, but, like, I really every day wonder. When will this blessing end? <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, that sounds so morbid. No, because for me, like, um, even being a dancer, it's a blessing to me. Or being able to dance is a blessing to me. That's true. Yeah. So like, cause I don't know, I don't really know how to market myself. I don't know how to find jobs. Like sometimes I don't even know why people find me. <laughs> because she asks useful questions. Oh really? And she asks now. Yeah, maybe that's that's what got you here. You never know. Keep knocking on doors. Oh, keep asking. Open you, the door. Open the door. Do you know the book that says uh, how to win friends and influence people? They say you need to ask people questions because people like getting asked questions. Then they feel like you're interested about them. So do you feel like I, I'm interested about you? I'm asking you a question again. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like she takes a genuine interest in people. Now you know, right? Asking questions is a good thing. So keep asking. Maybe that's where you get your jobs from. <laughs> like, uh, How do I stay motivated when I don't feel like it? Are you even motivated now? Because <laughs> it's like, are you motivated now? Eh, but I never thought about staying motivated. Though. I just do because I love you. So that's, that's it. Yeah. I mean, that is considered motivation. The, the love is a motivation. True, true. So, how I stay motivated is I love doing what I mean, working is, is it's better than not working sometimes. Um, I feel like sometimes when I don't work, right, I'm wasting my time. But your your dance is considered work, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so when I but then I can't be dancing twenty four seven. So example, if I don't have a job, if I don't have to teach, right, then I feel like uh, if I don't practice, I'm wasting my time. Yeah. Or like. Example like I love to watch drama la, okay. So <laughs> if I watch oh, that's something new. I thought like you very productive and would watch drama. No, of course not. I Korean drama. Any kind of drama. I watch China drama also. Okay, advice yeah. to young Jen. Experience everything. Maybe except drugs. Huh? <laughs> For some reason the topic always goes like super off and then comes back again. No but like ex experiment. Yeah, yeah, but experience everything like yeah. like like really go beyond your comfort zone. If you feel like I scared doing it, like try it. Yeah, of course don't try it blindly. Yeah, ask like our opinions and find out ways, research on the internet, like talk to different people. But um, experience and talk to many many people as as much as you can. Yeah, talk to Michelle. She will ask you many questions, <laughs> and then you will find out what you want to do. <laughs> I, I quite like talking. Hey, actually, uh, the first time, right? Michelle's, Michelle's interview is like 30 minutes long. Just don't be afraid to embarrass yourself and talk to people and ask questions, I guess. I really feel that, like, ask, you, when you ask questions, right, you don't really have to accept everything they say. You can still question it, you can still filter through 
yeah, and choose what you want to take in for yourself. But there's no harm in just listening to what people want to say or what people have to say. Yeah, and I only can see this much with my own pair of eyes. But if I can listen through like 12 more pairs of eyes, I, I feel like I see more things mm. than just what my own eyes can see. Yeah, so maybe that's why I like asking people questions. <laughs> she got her own answer, you know she, she asks herself and then she gets her own answer. <laughs> okay, everyone, Ayi is very lonely now. We have to join her to dance. Okay, that's it for today. Bye! <laughs>